Hi, I'm Ted Bear. I'm the author of Communicating with Your Dog. This channel's goal is to help you close the communication gap that you have with your dog now. You'll find links down in the description section under this video of all the channel's videos, uh, but make sure you check out the first video. It talks about the importance of sharing an actual language with your dog. Occasionally, I hear people say that they're gonna send their dog off to get it trained. Well, although it has some success, if you really want your dog to listen to you, you must participate in the dog's training. Behind every obedient dog is an owner who loves it and that trains it. Rule number six, respect your dog as a person. And I know that kind of sounds crazy, but it's mainly when you greet your dog. You wanna treat your dog as any other person that you would meet. When you walk through the front door, you greet everyone and you give a short burst of attention to your dog. If your dog is a little nuts during this period, that's okay as long as your dog doesn't have separation anxiety. Separation anxiety is when you leave your dog home alone and your dog is so nervous that it exhibits destructive tendencies, tearing up paper or whatever it finds. If your dog has separation anxiety, you have two good options. I like this first option the best. You just freeze like a statue, wait till your dog is calm, and then you pet it. If during this period where you start to pet it, it goes nuts again on you, just again, freeze like a statue. What you wanna do is Teach your dog that if it's not crazy jumping around, you will pet it. Another option is to have your dog sit and then pet it. My fear here though, is that you're causing a training session. And if your dog breaks the sit while you're petting it, then you're weakening the command. With both of these options for a dog with separation anxiety, make sure to keep your greeting low key just a minor scratch on the head or chest versus a good scratch where you're causing your dog to get more excited. You can always come back five minutes later and give your dog the scratch that it deserves. If you've chosen the sit option, make sure to release that command. More on that in one of the future videos. Always be happy to see your dog after a separation has occurred. Let your dog know that you love it. Not only is it polite, but your dog will love you more. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. I have a lot of thoughts to pass on to you. It'll benefit everyone involved, especially your dog. And check out my other videos.